That form for us adenosine triphosphate or ATP. Basically, this is by this time we formed for us ATP energy, and this is the process of photophosphorylation is achieved. But there are other products we want to, to form from here. Now, the electron is accepted by PS1 after forming ATP. Now, ATP energy is formed each time the electron is passed from one electron carrier to another. Yes. Now, step three, stimulation of PS1, photosystem one, electrons. Now, another photon of light strikes a molecule or few molecules belonging to photosystem one. The electrons in there, this is light. The electrons in there are excited, promoted to higher energy level, and eventually emitted. They are emitted and there are two electrons here which then are accepted by another another electron acceptor known as phenylodoxin. So the feldexin here now accepts the electrons which were initially, uh, which were belonging to photosystem one initially. So you see, they are here. That's why it is called non cyclic. We don't see a cyclic path of these electrons. But by the time they leave photosystem two, they continue through this electron path until they reach feldexin and they can't be replaced back here. The very electron. So the electron moves in a Z form. Now, the next step, which is the fourth step, is replacement of photosystem two electrons. We see now that since it is not cyclic, the electrons are lost. So how do we replace them? This is via photolysis. Another photon of light strikes water, a water molecule. And through a process known as photolysis, that is the light dependent dissociation of water, we have water being dissociated into two electrons, two protons or hydrogen ions, and half a molecule of oxygen. Now, these two electrons now replace the lost electrons from photosystem, re establishing the chemical establishment or the chemical component actually the chemical nature of photosystem to chlorophylls remember when they lose the two electrons they become positively charged now to, neut to neutralize that charge we need to get another external source of electrons and that is water through photolysis so basically this is what happens so after having, having repressed back our electrons then these two hydrogen ions released accept the two electrons from phenodoxin to form two hydrogen atoms which are immediately accepted by NADP that is to form reduced NAD that is NADPH plus this proton from there we see that Hydrogen from photolysis of water accepts two electrons. These were the electrons which initially were gotten from photosystem two to form two to form two hydrogen atoms, which are immediately accepted by NADP to form NADPH. Some books write NADPH two. That pH2, the same. So, basically, that is the process of 
non-scientific photophosphorylation or the Z scheme, we see that the NAD pH formed will then be used in the reduction reactions. Basically, it carries hydrogen in the dark stage. And the ATP formed in both the cyclic and non-cyclic types of photophosphorylation will also be used in the dark stage. Now, the oxygen released during photolysis is when the plant reaches the composition point, it can be used in the other process of respiration, but at times it is released as a byproduct. Basically, in the process of photosynthesis, oxygen is a byproduct. So, this is what we call non cyclic photophosphorylation. Thank you for watching. Sergio Jaivan is my name.